Let's bring your music to life in Blender 4.4 by turning sound into a dynamic wave of motion. We'll begin right where Blender starts, with the default cube. There's no need to delete it. Just scale it along the X, Y, and Z axes until it looks like a vertical bar that could represent a frequency band. Think of it like one piece of a sound wave. Now, move your timeline back to frame one. With the cube selected, press I and insert a keyframe for the Z scale. Next, switch over to the graph editor. Here's where the magic happens. In the graph editor, make sure the Z scale channel is selected. Then from the menu, choose channel sound to samples. Pick your favorite music file and just like that, Blender will transform your cube's Z scale to match the frequency data from your song you'll actually see the keyframes themselves to match the rhythm. It's pretty satisfying, but right now it's all visual. Let's bring in the sound. Add a speaker object to your scene. Go to the sound settings, load in the same music track, and play the timeline. Now you'll not only see the cube dance to the beat, you'll hear the rhythm too. This is super helpful for syncing motion and music. Now to build the wave. Simply duplicate the cube as many times as you want, left, right, however wide you want your sound wave to be. Use Shift-D and move them slightly apart to space them evenly. Each bar needs its own flavor. To create a more natural wave feel, we'll adjust the amplitude of each bar. I usually make the center bar move the most and gradually decrease the motion as we move outward. To do this, select the center bar, go back to the graph editor, and under Modifiers, add a Noise Modifier. Change its mode to Multiply and set the strength to around 20. I leave the offset at zero for the center. Then for each additional bar on either side, I do the same, add a noise modifier, but I lower the strength gradually and slightly change the offset for each one. This gives the impression of a wave rippling out from the center. Play it back and you'll see a much more organic, fluid motion that actually feels like sound. To wrap it up, I add a simple lighting setup to make the scenes pop. Just a couple of soft lights to highlight the bars. And of course, don't forget to add color. A gradient across the bars or some vibrant emissive materials will make your sound wave come alive visually. That's it, you've got yourself a music reactive sound wave in Blender 4.4. Let it pulse, let it glow, and let the beat drive your scene.